Schmaltz on it. 60 seconds gone in the man advantage. Gaber once again from the flank. Reese Gaber on the power play. That game is Mark Sendin now. Has a chance shorthanded. Sendin taken down on his way. And this will be penalty shots. So here comes Mark Sendin. The North Dakota captain who scored last night. Sendin stopped by Ian Shane. They're really good, Alex. Oh, they get a great chance here, and they score! Ben Tupker off the feed from behind the goal line, able to power one through. We'll see who's going to claim this. Kyle Kovic had the final touch, and we're all nodded at one apiece. Uh, as the time was expiring, you're going to see it just goes, like I talked about, they like to work the puck from low to down low. They get it down low right here. It's a good job. They just get the puck right out front. And uh, was that a rebound play or did that puck go rebound. right over? So, yeah, yep. it, it was. Uh... And on here on the ice before too long. 323 left in the first. The shot from the point trickles in. Off the pipe and in the back of the nets. And Cornell retakes the lead. Yeah, and this is a puck that shot from outside similar to last night. It's just the traffic. In... And the team from the ECAC has scored two in a row just off the inside of the post and in. Yeah, you... Back to five on five hockey. Frisch! A wide open look that time near the top of the circle and Shane able to close the angle down. Andreev beating Zanitska. Helston, great save. Big frame, six foot six. Look at the reach on here. He's able to just reach around and then Helston does a good job of the save. Here comes Cornell now. O'Leary the other way. Jack O'Leary, big stop by Jacob Helston. Those guys, cell phone numbers available. Also helps when you have lunch with the referees on Saturdays. As Helston makes the stop, and Cornell gets the third of the night. There are white jerseys, no one. You see two red jerseys hanging out with no one around you. I mean, that's just too easy. Locke gets the uh, eight seconds to go. For the first time since November of 2018, an opponent is going to come to the Ralph and earn back-to-back -back wins. Cornell able to complete the sweep tonight with a 3-1 victory over number five, North Dakota.